House Republicans in their razor thin new majority are expected to vote tomorrow to remove Democratic Congresswoman Ilhan Omar from the Foreign Affairs Committee. If successful, it would make her the third Democratic House member to lose a committee assignment. Congressman Adam Schiff and Eric Swalwell were blocked from House Intelligence last week. Republicans claim as their reason some specific remarks that Congresswoman Omar made in the past in criticizing Israel, remarks she has apologized for. But the real reason is simply vengeance by Kevin McCarthy against Democrats on behalf of the extreme wing of his party, to which McCarthy is entirely beholden. Revenge against Democrats for stripping Marjorie Taylor Greene and Paul Gosar of their committee assignments back in 2021. But let's be clear. The reason why a majority in Congress including some Republicans, voted to remove Gosar and Green, was for threatening violence against Democrats. Not only did Green spread dangerous and racist QAnon conspiracies, but on social media, she endorsed executing top Democrats, while also suggesting that the Sandy Hook and Parkland school shootings were staged. Gosar was expelled months later for posting an anime video depicting him killing Congresswoman Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez and attacking President Biden. Neither has publicly apologized, nor need they, apparently, because they, and not the supposed speaker, are now in charge. And joining me now is Democratic Congresswoman Ilhan Omar of Minnesota. And I did remark when you came in, you are surprisingly nonplussed and, um, by what is happening. But what do you make of this venge revenge tactic by Kevin McCarthy? Yeah, I mean, they, they've been on a vengeance tour. Um, and, you know, they've been very clear uh, last night when the, the, the rules debate was happening in the Rules Committee, you did this and we're going to do it uh, without context. Uh, it's very blatantly clear when we removed those two uh, from their committees in the last cycle, uh, it was because they threatened violence mm -hmm. against members of Congress. Uh, and it had nothing to do about their work on committees. It had nothing to do about opinions that they uh, might have on, on policy. Uh, and, and what they have done now is deny Eric Swalwell and Adam Schiff their committees because they disagreed in the way in which they let the impeachment against Trump. So this, this is um, extracting revenge yeah. uh, for for Trump, uh, their master. Uh, and certainly, I mean, I've been a target for them from the beginning. As you remember, McCarthy himself made the promise before I even got sworn in. Back in 2019, uh, Donald Trump came into my state in 2016 when I was running for the Minnesota House and mm -hmm. said, Somalis are infiltrating our uh, your state and our country. Mm -hmm. You remember um, Marjorie Taylor Greene coming to Congress. Mm -hmm. in 2019, before she was a member of Congress, and saying um, that Muslims should not be in Congress. And oddly, for somebody who believes in the Constitution, didn't actually know mm -hmm. that I had a constitutional right, along with Rashida Tlaib, to get sworn in in whatever I chose, because right. we have freedom of religion in this country. Uh, and um, and so we know what this is, this is about. Uh, this is about saying this particular member of Congress is not allowed to have a voice on the Foreign Affairs Committee. Yeah. This particular member of, um, of Congress is someone that we don't think is uh, appropriate in voicing. And that comes back to the fact that they don't actually think Muslims um, or, you know, refugees or immigrants in this country can appropriately criticize U.S. policy, mm -hmm. can appropriately criticize, um, you know, policies of, of other countries. Uh, and uh, to me, that is against my First Amendment rights. Uh, it is against what our Constitution allows. It's against the principles we all believe as Americans about the, the freedom to, to debate and engage in uh, dissent. Uh, and you have to remember the Foreign Policy, the Foreign Affairs Committee really isn't about um, you know, rubber stamping whatever uh, the foreign policy of whatever administration is. It's about oversight. Mm -hmm. uh, it's about critique. It's about advancing a, a, a better um, policy forward. Uh, and it certainly is about uh, making sure that the values that we say 
uh, to be true as a country right. are carried out through our, our foreign policy and they don't remain uh, a myth. And these people don't believe in that kind of accountability being necessary when it comes to our country and others. And, and by the way, just for you said you mentioned context. Th let me just put up this picture. This is Marjorie Taylor Greene posting on her Facebook this, yeah. right? You also have uh, uh, Bobert, Lauren Bobert, who is right now justifying wanting to have loaded weapons on the floor of the House. Yeah. Um, with those kinds of people who have threatened you, who have threatened your colleagues, who have threatened other Democrats, they want to carry guns on the floor, and yet they're saying you shouldn't be on the Foreign Affairs Committee. What do you make of that? Yeah, I mean, and, and, and I think the most absurd part of, of this whole argument is, is somehow that you, you have to be an objective decision maker. <laughs> That is the most ridiculous litmus test uh, for any member of Congress. Uh, you know, we famously say, vote your district. Right. Uh, so your perspective, the perspective of your constituents, uh, their, their insight, all of that is supposed to be injected into the decision-making process. Right. Uh, and so to, to have that requirement of me and not to make that requirement of anyone else. I mean, if you think about somebody like Marjorie Taylor Greene being on Homeland Security, this is someone who <laughs> believed 9-11 was an was, inside was job, an inside right? Job. Someone yeah. who doesn't even believe uh, in, in allowing Muslims. How is she supposed to carry out the objectives yeah. um, of, like, the Patriot Act? And you have somebody who essentially has threatened you, threatened other members of the squad, yeah. now potentially carrying guns yeah. on I the mean, floor. and sadly, That's can you terrifying. imagine someone like her? Overseeing oversight <laughs> on the Patriot Act and the way in which to, she feels about Muslims. It's unfortunately, insane. we're going to have to imagine yes. it because it's going to happen. Congresswoman Ilan Omar, thank you. Thank you.